In this video, I'm going to talk about the three things you need to know before you launch your own online business or any business of your choice. This is the real truth, the real truth, what you really need to know that you may not know already. So I want you to pay close attention. I want you to watch this entire video. I don't want you to watch just the first minute and click off. You really need to know this if you're thinking about launching your business or if you have an existing business, these three tips can really help you today. I'm telling you, today. So my name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. Now, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button right below this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell when I do videos just like this. Now, you know what time it is. Let's dive into the topic right now. Three things you should know before you launch your online business or any type of business, the real truth, what you really need to know today. So I'm going to go ahead and start right now listing the first one already. Now, this first thing you probably already know, but may not be actually really, really actually doing it all the time and every single day. And that's working on your mindset daily. Let me say that one more time. Working on your mindset daily. Now you wonder why do I need to work on my mindset before a business or even you have an existing business? I'm not doing this because things are always happening to our life. There's good things, there's bad things, there's good news, there's bad news. And your mind is always going somewhere. It's always going to here. It's going over there. And so you always need to educate your mind on positive things and feeding your mind with good education and good affirmations. You need to talk about affirmation, speak good affirmations, and actually get your energy level up as well. And reading books can be a really good thing for you. Matter of fact, it is a good thing for you because leaders are readers, but, in, but you have to read positive mindset activities each and every single day. Reading books, listen to positive audio, and surrounding yourself with positive people that's going to really support you. So working on your mindset, feed your body, feed your mind with positive things, positive affirmations, positive messages, positive words. That's going to help you lean in towards your career, lean in towards your business, because if you don't have your mindset together, it's very easy to venture off in something else because your mind is taking so much information all the time and you need to go ahead and develop a right alignment for yourself, like a right alignment. So working on your mindset daily is number one. You may want to work on your mindset not only in the beginning, and also at the end of the day. So if you if you have your affirmation, positive affirmations, and you have your reading your books every day, and you listen to positive audio, you can listen to that in the, in the morning. And at the end, you can also read a book or something positive that's working on your mindset. And one book I think you should read if you're not already, I've got it already back here, The Psychology of Persuasion, How Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. This is a book that I'm actually reading right now. So you can think about that. And also, this is another book called Unshakable for Tony Robbins. So those are a couple of positive books that I'm just kind of just throwing out there for you, for you can go ahead and think about. So the number two thing is here, before you launch your online business, you know, this is something that I struggle with for a long time, is the fact that you need to work on some type of capital. When you're starting a business, the number one, well, actually, one of the things you need to know is that you need to be earning money to grow your business. For an example, if you started an online business or you're interested in having your online business, you got to think about this. I probably need some type of capital money coming in to actually grow this actually business. So if I have a job, a full time job, that's actually could be some working capital I can use to grow my business or grow the area that I want to do. Like my hobby, turn my hobby into a business. I need capital to, to grow that hobby before it can actually be a business. So think about any extra capital that you can actually bring into yourself. Can you, um, you can, it could be odd chores. It could be odd chores. You can actually start something that you already know how to do. So you can sell things. You can sell things in your garage, your attic, your living room, sell the things you don't need to sell. 
You can mow lawns and and do other things, outdoor chores. You can actually, if you're if you're a really good tutor, you can tutor math or social studies or, or history or something like that. I'm being serious. So that way that working capital comes in and you can grow that business as soon as humanly possible. Because that's one of the things, people will start a business and they wanna make money. They wanna make money, they wanna get the business going, but they haven't worked on the actually capital. And you probably should think about this. The money you're bringing in, you may wanna save it for your business. So you may not necessarily need it right away for the business, but save it save it until you need to spend it for that business. So if you're getting working capital from more lawns and tutoring services and your jobs, make an example, take that money there that you're saving and invest into your business and into yourself. Invest into mentorship, invest into coaching, invest in the things that's gonna help you grow your online business or the things that you want to accomplish in your life. So working capital is so important in your business. This is something I did not know. I This is the real truth. Number one is mindset, making that strong mindset. Like you're just fierce. You have that energy, you're working on yourself. And number two is that capital. I've got money coming in, income streams. I've got income streams that's coming in, the things I know how to do and the things that I can do to grow my online business. So number three thing is here is when you wanna start an online business, the, the, these are the three things you really should know before launching is some type of skill set. Like a skill set, what do you bring to the table that's gonna help this business? That's something you gotta think about. Now I'm not saying you necessarily need to have the skill really high. I do believe this. If you have a burning desire to learn skills inside that business or inside the business you wanna do, I believe you'll do it. If you have that burning and desire, but that goes back to number one on mindset. If you're working on your mindset, you're actually creating that burning desire. You already want it because you can taste it. You can feel it. It's almost like you can hear it, you can feel it, you can smell it. So, but having a skill set that's already there will definitely help you. Prime example, you have an online business and it's required you to email your list, be an email marketer, learning how to write emails properly. So think about this. So if you can develop your email and marketing skills, that's gonna help your business. Let's say you're a good writer. Well, you should be, you could be a really good blog writer, a good email marketer. That'd be really good for your business if it actually asks for it, which a lot of online business does. Being a good writer does help the business. It can help the business because it can help grow your business. So if you're a good writer and that's a skill set, you're good. That's good. That's, that's a good way to start. And then now we need to go ahead and invest with the working capital I'm getting in to become even a better writer, more of a, more of an intense writer, more of a developer relationship writer, some areas that you may be lacking, then you can use that working capital to become a better writer for your online business. So if you have a skill, that's going to help you. That, that's that's going to relate to your business. But if you don't, develop that burning desire to learn the skill sets that's going to help your online business. And you'll kind of already know that it acts for already. You look into it. So if you want to be, a, if you want our online business and you're selling fitness memberships, right? You're, you're a fitness, you're a fitness person. So you join this fitness business and you have a real passion for fitness and your job is to sell fitness memberships, sell fitness videos, things like that. So if you're good at doing videos, that's going to help you. If you got a strong patent, pa passion for fitness and work on your mindset really strong, that is a skill because then now your passion will go inside the video and people will be able to start really relating to you very, very quickly. So skill would definitely help. If you have a skill set, develop that skill set as soon as humanly possible and focus on that one skill that you believe that can take your business to the top. I'm telling you. That one skill will definitely help you there as quickly as humanly possible. So let me recap real quick. The three things that you should know before you launch your online business, the real truth, what you need to know right now. Work on your mindset. That's number one. Number two is working capital. Save that money that you're bringing in, mowing the lawns and 
raking the leaves and, and painting the houses and tutoring in your job, your full-time or your part-time job, that could be some working capital that you can work on there to invest into your business and invest back into yourself. And number three, a skill set that can help your business. Develop that skill while you're in your business. Be good if you already have it before the business, but if you don't, work on that mindset, get that burning desire, get that skill set, and go ahead and launch and grow your business as soon as humanly possible, right? That is it. When you go from there, there's other steps, of course, but that's the basics. That's some of the real strong basics, the real truth, and I know you're gonna grow your business in 2020 and beyond. So if you're interested in starting an online business, if you don't have a business yet, and you have the things that you feel like you can do, and I know you can, click on the link below. I do have an opportunity for you that we work on these things. We work on the mindset, we work on developing skill sets, and we work on helping you develop working capital. So you can click below, start your online business right now. So I have that below this video in the description box. And I also have my own course of how you can become more attractive online building your business. So go ahead and check out those links below this video because I'm here to help you in this year develop those skill set with a powerful mindset with good working capital. My name is Adam Shelton. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.